On that rainy night, as the clock struck 11.30, Spanish security guards closed the gates of the frontier. Gibraltar guards sang God Save the Queen in the pouring rain. On the Spanish side of the frontier, a handful of reporters recorded the scene, the most dramatic one indeed. And a scene that would change the course of Gibraltar's destiny. Fifty years on, Gibraltar is commemorating the closure of the frontier with an exhibition covering the events leading up to the landmark event. Gibraltar became to all intents and purposes in those closed border years a city under siege. It was a fundamental event in the political and constitutional uh, development of Gibraltar. It shaped our identity as Gibraltarians and our identity as a people and therefore it's something that we need to mark in this way. The exhibition has been organised into eight different sections. It features photographs, propaganda, video footage and press cuttings of the day, which help to provide the backdrop against which the close of the frontier played out. A further 200 display panels and 350 captioned photos will serve to remind how much of an impact the event had on the people on both sides of the border. One of the images that we've chosen to portray the, the exhibition is actually that of a father holding up a small child up, uh, up above his head at the frontier gates so relatives on the Spanish side of the border can see the child from a distance and I think that image captures the human suffering that took place amongst families on both sides who were separated. The display will also feature historical recordings of Radio Gibraltar's Palabras al Viento. Through his programme, Manolo Mascareñas played a major role in keeping lines of communication open for families on both sides of the border. A number of oral histories with people who lived the closure will also form part of the exhibition in order to identify the impact the event had on the Gibraltarian psyche and our development as a people. We need to know the important events of our past that happened in the past to know where we are heading in the future. The government took a policy decision when we came into office in 2011 that these landmark events needed to be commemorated. In addition to the exhibition and in order that future generations understand the importance of such events, government will be producing a booklet which will be provided for free to school children. The booklet is part of a series that helped create awareness with new generations and understanding of our very unique cultural traits. Identity in general is not fixed. In a sense, it's a product of, of where you live, of historical, cultural and events that you react to as a people. That shapes us as a people. It shapes the way we see things, it shapes our outlook, it shapes our way of life and how we react to things. And, and it's part of who we are. The exhibition at the John McIntosh Hall will be open to the public from Tuesday the 4th until Friday the 14th of June. Be sure not to miss out. For the older generations, it promises to evoke emotions from a tough time in our history. And for the younger generations, it will no doubt provide an intimate insight and understanding of what helped to shape us as a people. <laughs>